Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm gonna show you the easiest tank I probably played in the pre-patch. And I tried every single one. Well, uh, well, the warrior I actually tested in the, like, on level 80, on the, like, the beta of the pre-patch. So I've tried it also. So I tried every single tank so far. And, like, you could play this, uh, like, DK even more, like, uh, optimized. But you really don't need to, which is kind of funny. Uh, I mean, the only abilities I really need to use is, like, Death and Decay, Death Strike, and Blood Boil. That's pretty much it. Like... That's pretty much the only thing I need to do. Well, I could use cooldowns and stuff. And sure, I could spread diseases, which I'm doing in the video over there. A bit like on bosses. Because on bosses, it feels like... Well, that's not a boss, actually. But like in this video over there, I did use... I did spread the diseases. But this was like at the start, whenever I like did boost my... I used my like the boost on this character to have my DK. So that was from the start, but like gradually I realized like the like in at least in the normal heroics, like the regular ones, the low the first heroics that we are spamming, I realized that um, everything is dying so fast that you really don't need to because as a tank you're only your only uh, job there basically is to keep aggro and all I needed to do you can see this over here right now I'm not even spreading diseases here I'm just kiting and blood boiling nothing else I mean Sure, I did spread here just because uh, I was a bit like in advanced of everyone else. So I had time to set uh, set it up and spread it to everything. But usually I, yeah, I just do hero the death and decay. I usually like start with a blood boil because it hits everything and with a pretty huge amount of damage. So... I'm just gonna show you the build that I'm running with. It's not the optimal way to pay, play again, but it's a way that works perfectly fine for me. The only thing that I'm considering to change is the this thing, which is uh, increases the damage done by your diseases by 30%. And currently, the only thing I'm doing is like farming gold in like the like lower dungeons and stuff like that. And whenever I'm doing that, I'm not really spreading diseases that much because everything is dying so fast anyway. And in dungeons, the only times I mostly doing like the plagues and uh, the diseases to spread is on bosses, really, currently. So... This is the build that I'm running with. Uh, if I would change this, I would most likely uh, remove this, put one more into Blood Scent, or or maybe like three in the Blood Cake Blade, just because it's auto attack. It it's always twenty five percent weapon damage. So, and it's a thirty percent. So I'm actually considering to change that one. But like the. It's so easy to do. This tanking spec is so easy. And with the glyphs, death strike, I mean, I'm barely, like, I barely need to get healed at all. It's insane. We are so powerful. And... I'm speechless, like, how easy this was. I was expecting to struggle a little bit more, but, yeah. I even, like, came in a group with a Shadowmourne Paladin. I think it was a Paladin. 
he had no issue at all keeping the the aggro. So, and the vengeance and like the DK overall, I'm having so much fun with it. So yeah. And currently, like I did use it yesterday, so I'm grinding the justice point to 400, the 4,000 for sure, just so I can buy some pieces on 85. So, if you have a DK and you need to farm, go blood because it's so it's so easy. I don't even need the dancing rune weapon either. I could pick something else really. Like I use it on bosses. That's the only time I really use it. And it's going to be way different uh, later on when we get the... It's over here, right? Yeah, the Outbreak. So once we get this, it's going to be so easy with everything. And the macros uh, that I'm actually... That I actually would use is like... Let's make one, actually. So let's take the sequence one. So, there we go. Let's make a new one. So, uh, spread. Let's call it that, spread. And then we go, where is it? Let's just take something. Let's take this one. And then we go this. We change it to five, for example. And then we go, we go first, first we go Icy Touch. Oh, I can't use it. Uh, ice. See, touch. Then you do the not the dot, but the the little thing uh, that goes like this. And then we go plague strike. Uh, plague strike. Then it again, and then we use pestilence. Let's see if I. Yeah. So this is most likely the the thing I would use if I'm spreading. Maybe even start with blood boil. Just because you can run in, use that thing to hit everything, just to make sure that even the if the healer is healing you, he doesn't take healing aggro because you haven't done anything. So you, the first thing that you're doing is hitting everything, and then you start to ice a touch. Plague Strike, and then Pestilence. And once you've done that, you can change to just Blood Boil, if you want to. And you can start with Death and Decay. So most likely I would use first blood, uh, Death and Decay. So let's actually queue for a dungeon just so we can test it out. I think it's going to be super simple. So let's go, queue for a dungeon. Let's hope I get a dungeon real quick. Shouldn't be that long. Average wait time is 19 seconds. So I should be like, like this. So I'm hitting everything. And then we go Blood Bowl. And then it's like spreading. If we want to. But like other than that, it's, it's super simple. And it's if it's two or like three and you have aggro, switch to hard strike. You can do that. And what I love is the Crimson Scorch because you like your blood ball is doing so much damage. And it says like it says uh, and when you land a melee what the fuck? When you land a melee what the hell? When you land a melee attack on a target that is uh, affected by your blood blood plague, there's a 10% chance that your next blood ball will consume no runes. So, Blood Plague is spread with the... Which one is it? I think it is... Okay, so then we we, re, we at least we want to have the Blood Strike. So maybe we... Hmm, I think that we're actually gonna spread. But then we, then we can make this even easier. So here we go. And this is why I love Worgen. I love... Oh, I haven't done this one. So then I would do like this. This. 
Then we go like this, 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 and spread. GG. And everything is spread. Let me change the keybind here, just so we make it even more easy. There we go. Interact. So we do it like this again, and then we cast it. There, there, there we spread it, and then we just go. So basically right now, all I'm doing is casting. You can even add it to the macro, really. It would even be even easier. So sorry group, but I'm gonna do like this, this. Uh, let's see here, death and decay. Save it, drag it out again. Yes, it's working, okay. So now it's even, even, even better. So we, there, there. Jesus, this became even more easy. <laughs> oh my God. So all I'm doing right now there in the opener is just spreading everything and then I'm scrolling because on, on my key bindings, uh, on scroll up, for example. Uh, let's do like that. There, there. We spread, and then blood ball. So on scroll up, I have blood. I have blood shield, and on scroll down, I have rune strike, and I have a rune on my bone shield, which increases my movement speed with fifteen percent. Which is very nice. And I have it up on like all the time. It's the like. And I, I did add that. Just because I felt that. Um, DKs are rather slow. So that's another reason why I added it. But I mean it's it's super simple. That This became even more simple. Jesus Christ. This became even better now. It might, I'm like I'm top on damage. Also. It's so nice. <laughs> well, I'm... Uh, so... Let me kill this boss and then I'm actually gonna leave this group. Sorry group. Or well, I, I'll finish the... I actually, actually finish the, the run after I've ended this video but like on bosses it, it's even easier so on bosses uh, I'm not gonna use the macro but like on bosses I try to get up to so I just so I can activate the dancing rune weapon just so I can have double diseases and then I use heart strike and death strike like always when I have it available and blood ball on the proc and bosses. Look at my damage. Look at my damage. So easy. It's so easy. They're such good tanks. It's yeah. I'm enjoying this. And for the record, this is gonna be my new main. I have decided it. I've contemplated it. Like, if I should do it or not. Like, if this should be my new tank. Like, main in Cataclysm. And with with some consideration, I've actually decided on it. That I'm actually going to do it. So, yeah. With that, I just want to say thank you for watching. And if you click this video, uh, consider subscribing and liking the this video if it helps you if it doesn't i hope that you already know about this information and click this video and i'll see you over there pork pork